Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Hernandez and I'm a professional makeup artist based in Los Angeles. We're currently in my bathroom where I will be showing you how I style my curly hair and get ready for the day. So let's get started. I just finished washing my curls in the shower using the OGX Beauty Prakashi Recovery Oil Shampoo and Conditioner and I have been obsessed with this duo. I haven't gotten a haircut in close to eight months because of the pandemic and my split ends have been a really hot mess but this formula is really nourishing and it helps minimize frizz so i've been loving it on days where my curls feel extra dry and brittle i like to swap out the conditioner with the 60 second moisture treatment and i just love this stuff it serves as a drink of water for my hair and it instantly conditions my hair making it feel silky and voluminous all over again so whenever i wash my hair i always make sure to wrap it in a microfiber towel as it absorbs excess water while minimizing frizz. I think cotton towels are really heavy and I find that it tends to weigh my hair down and I just love how soft microfiber towels are and they truly make a difference. Like this is my hair right out of the shower and as you can see there's really no frizz. So definitely try it if you haven't. So now that I have washed my hair and it's ready to be styled, I like to just part it down the center and I go in with this wet brush wide tooth comb and I slowly just sort of make sure that I don't have any knots throughout my hair. So once it's fully brushed out, I'm going to take a spray bottle and this just has regular water in it and I'm going to rehydrate any areas where uh, my curls dried up because it's going to minimize frizz. Just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so once my curls are fully wet and soaked in water, I'm going to take this Deeply Restoring Prakashi Recovery Oil Combing Cream and I'm just gonna take a little dime size amount about this much and I'm just going to start raking that through my hair. I love using this combing cream to style my hair as it's made with a blend of Prakashi oil and Murumuru butter which are natural elements derived from Brazilian trees that help restore dry damaged hair. So this has really been working for me during quarantine. So now I'm going to take a little bit more of that cream and I am going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm mostly focusing this on the ends of my hair because this is where I find that I need the most moisture. Once I'm done raking the combing cream through the ends of my hair, I like to go in with this Coconut Curls Decadent Creamy Mousse as it gives my hair tons of volume. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. This is about how much I take. I'm going to warm it up in the palm of my hands and I'm slowly going to scrunch that product right through the root of my hair. And as I said, this is going to give my curls tons of volume and height. So I'm just doing the same thing and I'm going to take that right back here. Just really making sure that applied right in the roots. Okay, now that we have the mousse all throughout our roots, I'm going to take my microfiber towel and I'm slowly going to use it to scrunch my hair in an upward motion. And this is going to help get volume. It's going to help my curls coil up and it's going to remove like any excess moisture that might be in the hair. Once I'm done applying those two products and scrunching my hair with the microfiber towel, I just kind of let my curls fall wherever they want. And I'm gonna use my fingertips to just wiggle between the curls and this is gonna help separate any clumpy pieces that might be lingering in there. And 
that is it for the styling portion. I like to give my curls like five to 10 minutes uh, to really absorb the product and just kind of start to form the curl pattern. So I'm going to really quickly uh, throw on a little bit of makeup and you know, get ready for the day. So I'm going to clip my hair back and these are the My Kitch uh, X Justine creaseless clips here. I'm just gonna use those to get my hair out of the way. This way we're not touching or disturbing the curls. So lately I haven't been wearing a ton of foundation or makeup in general because as you guys know, we have been wearing masks so my makeup has been like the bare minimum. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of concealer in the areas where I need it most. So I'm gonna take it right under the eye I'm gonna take a little bit right out here because I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation. And I'm also gonna take a little bit on the chin and then in the center of the forehead. The concealer I'm using is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Concealer. I'm in the shade 203 and I've been obsessed with this concealer because I find that it sits really well on the skin and you don't have to set it. It like is self-setting and it wears really well throughout the day. So once I've applied the concealer, I'm gonna go in with this Anissa Beauty Angled Concealer Brush to just work the product into my skin. I like using little tiny patting motions because I find that this causes less streaking. It just really helps my skin absorb the product. So with whatever is left over, I'm just going to bring it down towards the jawline. I'm just continuing to blend everything out. And this concealer brush is really amazing because it sort of reminds me of like a thumb. So it fits into the nooks and crannies of the face and I just find that it's fast. And as you can see, this really helped brighten up my complexion and it doesn't look like we're wearing a ton of product, which is why I love this concealer. I'm also gonna take whatever is left over on my brush and I'm going to pat that right over my lids just to make sure that our complexion is all the same tone. Now that our face is ready for a little bit of warmth, I'm gonna go in with the Cover Effects bronzer drops and these are in the shade sunkissed and it comes with this really cute dropper and I just like to put like one to two drops in my hand and I'm gonna pick that up using this Sonia G classic cheek brush and you guys I've been obsessed with these brushes I recently discovered them and they're handcrafted in Japan and they just look and feel so luxurious I've really been obsessed with them so I'm not necessarily gonna go in and contour or anything. I just want to give my skin a little bit of warmth so that we don't look so washed out. So I'm going to turn this way. And do you guys see this little shadow here? I'm just gonna go right above that little shadow. And I'm just gonna use little tiny tapping motions to kind of work that product in. We're slowly going to get a little bit of warmth here. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of that right on the perimeter of the forehead and I'm really going to make sure to work that into my hairline. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I like to kind of find the center of my ear and that is kind of where I know to place my bronzer. I feel like it's a good guideline. Guideline. I like to go from like the center of my ear towards the edge of the lip. And once the product is on my skin, I just like to fan it upwards. Again, I'm gonna take a little bit on the perimeter of the forehead. I'm also gonna take the tip of the brush 
and I'm just gonna squeeze it just like this and I'm slowly going to contour the tip of my nose a tiny bit as well as the sides of my nose. Now that my bronzer is on, I'm gonna go back in with my concealer brush and I'm slowly going to pat right over the bronzer. And this is just gonna ensure that we don't have any harsh lines and it's gonna help melt everything together. I'm also gonna use that to diffuse the perimeter of my forehead. So now for my favorite part of makeup, I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 Beach Please Cream Blush in the shade Happy Hour. I've really been obsessed with this blush lately. I find that it just gives my skin a really pretty flush and it looks realistic. So I'm just using that same Sonia G Cheek Brush and I like to smile. And you see this little round part right here on the apple of the cheek? I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly pat the blush right in that area. And as I'm working it onto my skin, I'm going to start blending it back into the bronzer so that everything is melted together. The undertone of this blush is so pretty. It looks like I walked my dog, maybe got a little bit of sun. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, just slowly patting and making sure that both are blended together. I'm also gonna take a little bit right on the bridge of my nose. And then again, I'm going to pick up a little bit of concealer. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand here. And using that same concealer brush, I'm going to drag that right underneath my bronzer and blush here and this is going to give us a more refined jawline here. I like using this technique because I find that you get that really pretty contour effect without, you know, applying a ton of makeup. Now that I've applied all of my creamy complexion products, I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and the center of my face using this Givenchy Prisma Libre powder in Vule Rose. And I love this powder because it has a pink undertone and I find that it's really flattering under the eyes. It, it just gives my complexion like a really airbrushed finish. So I'm just gonna take that right under the eyes and with whatever's left over, I'm gonna go ahead and drag that along the sides of my nose and down the lap lines. I'm also gonna take a little bit of that just through the center of the forehead. So now to give my eye a little bit of a lift here, I'm going to go in with the Sephora. Uh, this is the Sephora Long Lasting Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black Noir. And I really want to give my eye a little nice lift, nothing crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. I call this a baby liner because I don't like bringing it in towards the inner eye all the way. So what I do is I just, Hope you guys can see. What I do is right where my eye separates here, I just draw a straight line going towards the edge of the brow here. And then once that line is there, I draw another line going in towards the eye. Just like that. And then I fill it in. And this is a little too high for me, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do to correct any mistakes. So I take a little flat brush. This is actually a MAC 242 brush. And I put a little bit of micellar water on the brush. And then what I do is I pinch any excess product out and I just line that up next to the wing. And as you can see, it just corrects any mistakes without like ruining the liner. 
So I'm gonna take a little bit right underneath it. And that is it. I'm gonna elongate it a tiny, tiny bit. I like for my liner to be more straight as opposed to up towards my brow. And I think the reason is because I have hooded eyes. So it just gives my eye that really pretty lift. And that's it guys. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna try to be super quick about it. So, so easy. Definitely give this a try. I find that it looks like you put a lot of effort into your makeup, but you really didn't. It's super easy. Perfect. Now that our liner is complete, I'm just going to curl my lashes. This is the Surratt Eyelash Curler. I really am obsessed with this eyelash curler. I've been using it for years because I find that it gets into every nook and cranny. So now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. This is just in the shade black and I'm just gonna coat my lashes ever so slightly because this dramatic this uh, mascara is extremely dramatic like it gives the illusion of like a false lash which is why i love it i'm also going to take a little bit on my lower lashes and when i apply uh, mascara on my lower lashes i like to actually fan my lashes outward because it creates kind of like a 60s vibe uh, and I just find that it's like more fresh. So now for my lip, I came up with this trick and it's been working for me. So I'm going to show you guys, but rather than going in with like a lip liner and then a lipstick and that whole thing, what I like to do is I like to go in with the cool tone lipstick. This is Mac Cosmetics styled in sepia. I'm going to tilt my head and I'm going to find the center of my bottom lip and I'm going to put one little line right there. And then I'm also going to do the same on the top of the lip. So I'm mostly focusing this product right in the center. And now that we have that product on the lip, I'm just going to take a dry Q-tip and I'm going to slowly diffuse that product. And I'm going to bring it out towards the edge of the lip. But do you see how it gives the lip a, like a little bit of definition without it looking like you did anything? And now I'm gonna go in with this Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color. And this is in the shade 640 Embrace. So I'm just gonna take the applicator, I'm gonna apply it kind of messy right in the center of the lip. And then I'm going to use my middle finger to really work that into my lips. And then once I'm done, I always go in with a Q-tip and just pick up any excess product. But do you guys see, like my lips look nice and defined and like luscious, but it doesn't really look like we did anything to them. And I love this because when I wear my mask, I find that even if it rubs off a tiny bit in the mask, it just looks better and better throughout the day because it becomes more of a stain. So definitely give this a try. But I do recommend only using matte, uh, matte lip products. Okay, so now that my makeup is complete, I'm just going to remove these pins and I'm gonna show you guys how I diffuse my hair. I really am obsessed with this T3 Curl Blow Dryer. I find that it's, it gets really hot, but it has different settings. So I like to use it on the low setting and I find that it just is enough to give my curls a good, um, some good definition. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn that on. And I'm just gonna use my the palm of my hand and my fingers to scrunch my hair in an upward motion while applying heat. Once the ends are dry, I'm gonna go ahead and flip my head over and diffuse the entire 
portion of my hair, including my roots. So once I'm done diffusing my hair, you can see how much volume I get. I just kind of let them fall wherever they want. And then I use my fingertips to shake out any curls that might be clumping together. And that is it, you guys. That wraps my day-to-day -day hair and makeup routine. If you enjoyed watching this video, subscribe to Rose Inc. and follow me on Instagram at Melissa Period Hernandez. Thanks for watching.